Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is here. God is here. Holy Spirit, you are here. You are welcome. I'm going to start with the prayer. So happy Tuesday. It is so nice to be back. And Holy Spirit, have your way. I invite you here, Holy Spirit. Speak right through me and out of me. That every words that I'm going to say, every verses I'm going to read, that it will all make sense in Jesus' name, that it will make sense and touch lives, bring freedom, healing, your light in this place. But I, I ask you, Jesus, I will see your joy, your presence, your protection, your favor, your grace, and everybody that are watching, that they shall be awakened to your truth, that their heart will be open for your truth, and that they will be set free, that you will just bring change, healing, into their lives and a transformation that only you, Jesus, can accomplish in their lives. That what I'm doing today, that it will bring people closer to you. Woo! In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. In Jesus' name. You guys, I'm so happy to be here today. Um, so our topic today will be uh, take a stand. One second. Oh, 
Okay. All right. All right. Okay. So um, our topic for today is uh, take a stand. You guys, it is happy Jesus month. Jesus reigns forever. He is the king of all him and Lord of, of, of all Lord. He will be here when we die. He was here before when we came to this earth and he shall be here when we leave this earth. He is Lord of our Lord, King of all kings and nobody can take his place out. He is our Lord. He is the Lord. He is the Lord. He watches the, the world. He watches over you if you're a believer and, and, and he's amazing. So it is his month to celebrate. And it's his month to celebrate. It's always his month. It is. It is. It is uh, his purpose here on earth. So we celebrate. We say June is the month to expand the kingdom of God. June is the month to be a, the light. The light in the darkness. June is the month to bring forth the plans of Jesus in this earth. Hallelujah. June is the month we are bringing Jesus. We're bringing his stuff, his purpose, heaven on earth. Let us be his vessel for God to use us, okay, to accomplish his purpose and his will. His will, his purpose shall be done here on earth as it is in heaven. So every darkness, everything we bind, we cancel, we release God's will and God's purpose on this earth. Hallelujah. So let's open up our Bible in Ephesians 6, 11. Okay, take a stand. It is a time, such a good time right now, you guys, for all, for all of us to take a stand. Can you stay downstairs, please, in your playroom? Oh, Gianna, I'm live, please, and thank you. Just go down. Vincent, can you, can you don't, please? I, uh, my life, you guys, my life. You know, nothing can stop me. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling um, what God wants. Um, I'm with my kids all the time, and then just once in a while on Tuesday, I come live just to preach the gospel of God and it shall be done. And they're okay for a few minutes that I am away. You know, I'm always there with them. They'll be okay. They'll be okay. Okay, they have a they have this downstairs where there's like literally full of toys. This big room full of things for them to do. But obviously, you know, kids, they always want to be, you know, near and close to their mommy. And it looks like they're coming up. It looks like they're coming back. Uh -uh. So... You guys, I want you guys to be downstairs. If not downstairs, go inside in the back here, please. Then say you too loud, I'm like, please. <laughs> you know what? I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. <laughs> Can you please go down and then, and then he'll go with you, please? Okay, so Ephesians 6, 11 to 13. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh but the and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against powers of this dark world, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. Can you, can you get out of that, please? You're not helping the situation. You're making it worse. Can you get out, please? Get out of that and go outside. I mean, at downstairs. And he'll follow you. Therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then. One second. Okay. 
I really need, I really need to edit this. <laughs> I really need to edit this. Oh my goodness, what a day. I really need to edit this. Um, I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, first Peter, five and nine. Okay, so first Peter five nine. Is this correct? Yeah, okay, okay, that's correct. Um resist him, resist the devil, resist him, standing firm in the faith, because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. So resist the, the devil. It's time to stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm now more than ever before in Jesus' name. It's time to speak up. It's time to stand up. It's time to put on the full armor of God. It's time to stand up. If you call yourself a Christian, if you call yourself a, a, follower, a follower of Jesus and you literally zip your mouth, in, we all live it in the dark, evil days right now. And... I am so shocked to even like be, can believe what my kids are seeing right now in their eyes. I remember when I was a little girl, you know, around, around table, my family, you know, my friends, whatever, other people, the people we were talking about how like how how like uh, later on in this life, in the future, when it comes to end world, to, you know, and and um, when it comes to the end, and how like things were gonna stop coming out like we would begin to see yeah i'm just saying gay people walking around all of that stuff and, and just like how all the sinful nature that god says to me that are not pure okay bringing shame on the woman you know that guys can be like us making fun of us and we have to share bathroom with them it's, like it's been shame on us women. So all of those things that we are supposed to be okay. Okay, I am not against. I, I'm not, I did not say that I hate gay people. But God calls me to hate the sin. So if you are going to come out here trying to chase me, trying to make up stories about me, it is in the Bible. It is written. I stand with God and I stand for him. I'm not going to be one of those people that zip my mouth, keep my mouth. No, I'm here to bring the light in the darkness, okay? So all of what you are trying to do, all of those things that is going on, we are bringing shame on, on ladies, even even in Olympics, in sports. Like, I, I remember ladies, they used to work so hard to be in the sports, work so hard just to be in a ladies' sport. So now guys can literally be in a ladies' sport. That is shame. We're bringing shame on all ladies. We're bringing shame on girls. Because what? Because we're pretty. We are with women. We are beautifully made. Now men want to be like us. But but we have to suffer because men can share back with us. That's literally so stupid. And many of us, we zip our mouth. This is so not good. It's not right. If you zip my, our, your mouth, it's just to really show you like how selfish you are and how weak you are. So it is time to stand. If you do not have the power and the authority to speak up, ask God to give you the power and the authority to speak up. I'm sure when we um, live our lives, go through experiences, all of those experiences were there to equip us, to train us. So when the time of evil comes, we'll be able to stand up. But many of us, we fail those tests, okay? Okay? I failed the test before in the past when I was young, but I was, and until I was like, do you know what? I will no longer fail this test because my kids need me. My kids need me. So I've gone through so many crazy things in this life that prepare me for this day. Let God prepare you for this day. When things happen in your life, take it and learn and grow from it. I don't even know where it is. Was I playing with it? Can you please let mommy do this? So I'm here to encourage you. Can you go outside? I'm here to encourage you all. I'm here to encourage you all to stand firm. To stand up and stand firm. My kids are okay. They fed, they have everything that, 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 that they need. They're just here to bug me. It's okay. That's just what kids do. So you know, they play with things and they lose it. Now they're asking me to go and help them find it, like as if I'm the one who lost it while I'm literally in the middle of life. 
and I gave them something to do before I came here, and I guess that didn't work out. We're still gonna do this. Anyway, so I need to encourage y'all to stand firm. Can you go outside for a bit or go downstairs? Your shirt is downstairs. That's where you were playing. You're welcome. Lord have mercy. I bind every stronghold in the name of Jesus. My kids are fearfully wonderful. Made. They can give me a few minutes to do this. Thank you, God. Thank you for your strength. First Corinthians 15, 58. I was not hoping to be here for a long time. Um, so hopefully I can quickly get this message out to you guys and let you go out on your way. Okay, so um, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Literally, there are so many verses that talks about stand firm. See, the Bible is literally a direction to life to prepare you to let you know what is to come and how to prepare yourself. Again, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58, literally tells us again, do you brothers and sisters stand firm? Stand firm, not waver, not like, okay, you know, this sin is okay, this is extreme, okay? Let's just um, go with the flow and let's just go with that, it's okay. And while God is literally telling us to stand firm, I don't let the world, the world is a sinful world. God says we are a part of it, but we don't belong to it. So all of those things, there are so many corrections, no many excuses we could literally say that the Bible tells us, explain it to us. So stand firm. Let nothing move you. It actually says that. Ooh, I love this one. Okay. First Corinthians 15 verse 58 says, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Woo! Fire. I feel the fire of God. Stand firm. Stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourself fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is power. There is anointing. There is fire in the word of God. It is for us to follow. I'm talking to the people that want to know the truth, that want to come near the truth, that want their life to be changed. Okay. I am not uh, talking to the stubborn, close heart people uh, that literally don't want nothing to do with the, uh, you know, the clean stuff or the truth or the purity of the Lord or, or you know, uh, to build your life that your life can be transformed to be a better version of yourself. I am not talking to people who do not want those things because no matter what I do, I cannot change it again. I am not good to be your God, okay? I am not God. I am not Jesus. <laughs> I am not Jesus, and I, I know that I can't change people, but I'm just here to, to preach, to spread the gospel of God, God to who welcomes God. Okay, who welcomes God, who receives God, they are going to heaven, you know? They're going to heaven. God will be with you and walk with you. When God is not in your life, is not walking with you, you will go through so much darkness, so much hell, so much struggles, so much destruction, so much darkness, evil, and it's dark in there. It's dark in there that you do not want to like live your life forever, forever in that situation. God comes to give you light and life and hope and future and goodness in your life. So you have to come to God to give you that peace and that hope that you need. The world is will never. The world will never give you the peace and the fulfillment and the completeness and the peace and the hope and life and happiness and, 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 and just joyful, like this happy freedom person that you're supposed to be. The world will not give that to you. We are seeing this over and over and again, how the world is literally taking your happiness away, taking your voice away, taking your identity away, literally destroying you. 
Okay, so this is a great time for you to surround, surround yourself with the right people, with the right people that are a good fit for you. Okay, I'm literally so serious about life now that I do not want to waste my time with people that are just there to, to try to uh, take my faith away, to try to change me. Oh, I am me. I will be who the heck I want to be. Okay, God is the one that has came into my life and change me and mold me and help to me when no one else could help me. He's the one that came and helped me. So I know where I have been and God has set me free and loved me and took care of me. And that's where I want to be. I do not trust nobody in this world because we are human. We are weak. We human, we weak, we hurt, we fell people. So the only person that will never forsake us and leave us is Jesus. He is the safest, the most secure place. So stand for him because he, he stand for him because he is, he's using people as well to, to fulfill his purpose, to touch all the lives that are untouchable. Okay, we are all here to go and touch lives that are untouchable. And that is not what I'm doing with my platform. I have every right to do that with my platform. Okay, so we need more people like me. We need more people in this world to be able to do those, those things. Okay. Um, so stand firm. Let nothing move you. Stand firm. Stand firm. Let nothing, 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 nothing move you. I prophesy over your life that let nothing move you. Let nothing move you. Let nothing move you and let nothing move you. And you can only stand firm when you have Jesus in you. Okay? He is victorious. The devil is defeated in your life. So when he is in your life, you are victorious as well. You will not be victorious when you just uh, go and partner up with the darkness, partner up with all the evil things that are going going on. Because the devil, Satan, all his demons, all everything that is that that, that are part of the darkness, they're there to kill you, to destroy you, okay, and to steal from you. Like there's no life there, there's no hope there, there's no future there. It just gets darker, darker, and darker and darker until nothing left. <laughs> It's a sad, scary, uh, empty place out there. Don't want to be there. Don't want to be there. Come to Jesus. He'll give you life, uh, peace, uh, fulfillment. Everything that you need is in Jesus, not, not in the devil. You know, yes, he, he may tell you to do this or change your sex or do this and this. Literally, it's just destroying you. Before you know it, it will just destroy you. There's, there's no life. There's no hope. There. There's a nothing there. There's nothing there. There's nothing. I'm so passionate for Jesus because I've tasted and seen that he is good. I've tasted the other part of the world too. It just didn't give me what, what I needed. And God, it's God that I needed. I needed him in my life. And because of him, I am be able to stand up. Now, I, I found myself because of Jesus. And you can find yourself because of Jesus too. Hallelujah. Okay, so let's do Luke 19, uh, 13. Most high God of heavens, most high will love you, most high in the world. I to God. Most high God of heaven, most high will love you. Okay, so look 19, verse 13. I think, okay, I, I need the King Jim version, but I'm going to read the version that I have. I have NIV right now, but I love the King Jim version. Um, so he called 10 of his servants and gave them 10 minas, and then basically saying, like, occupy the land until he comes. So Jesus said, occupy the land until I come. So right now we're supposed to occupy it. See, okay, what does occupy mean? That's a good question. I should have had my dictionary. What does occupy mean? Occupy the land. Not stay quiet, not move back, not let people move you and you just hiding, be quiet and don't do anything. Just, uh, okay, I'm just to myself. Oh, I'm so scared because I don't want um, people to be mad, mad at me. I don't want to lose friends. Um, I don't want to lose family members. I I don't want to get hurt. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, this really hurt. Oh, pull me, pull me, pull me. Jesus literally sacrificed for you. Do you think like 
if Jesus was on the cross and didn't want to do it, he wanted to do it. But he knows exactly the purpose, the 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 reason he did it and what what was gonna come out of out of it. He sacrificed, he died, he died for you. So and 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 if you are a believer of Christ, you, there are some sacrifice that, that you you will have to make. Hallelujah. And you will get persecuted. But guess what? In the persecution, after the persecution, God will reward you with so much strength and boldness. Like literally, if I didn't go through the persecution that I went through, if I didn't go through the trials that I went through, if I didn't go through the heartbreaks, through the pain, through the hurt, I would have never be the person that I am today. I would never be the person that I am today. It's because through all of those difficulties, I am able to have that strength, uh, that boldness, the power, the anointing, and the fire of God in my life because I allowed myself to go through those things. If I did not, not go through those things, I would have no oil in me. I would have nothing to give you. I will have nada to give you. It's because of God's mercy and grace in my life. He allowed me. I allowed myself to go through all of those things. Now I can give you this anointing. I can give you the power. I can give you the wisdom, the knowledge, the encouragement of God. It is God working through me because I allowed him to work through me first when nobody was watching. No one, nobody thought. They thought, they thought that I was going crazy and cuckoo, but I was not. I was not going crazy and cuckoo. It was God that was working in me, disciplining me and training me when, when nobody saw or could think what he was doing. You know, I am confident in Christ Jesus. I am not pride. So I bind every pride, uh, demonic, spiritual forces, principality that are governing in our air. In the air, in, 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 especially in this month, there's a demonic uh, principalities uh, uh, called pride, I believe. I believe that's the name, but I, I, I you know, if I don't, uh, if this what they mean. But anyway, so, so I've come against the demonic forces or the principalities of pride 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 gets people into trouble pride gets people into doing nonsense sinning and destruction okay so i am gonna say i am proud to walk with jesus I am proud to have a relationship with him. Okay? And I am not pride, prideful to walk in the darkness, to hurt people, to kill people, to condemn people, to judge people. To, oh, I am not proud of doing this. No, that's not what I want to be. I am proud to have a fellowship with Jesus and not be afraid to, 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 to show the light of God in me shining through me, out of me to bless, to restore, and bring freedom and healing to the nation. So, did you find your shirt? You did, what was it? Oh, okay, I'm glad you did. So, what I'm trying to say, God says, occupy the land, occupy the world, occupy until he comes. It's not for us to just say, um, well, the end is 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 here. Uh, Jesus is coming. We are hallelujah. I'm going to heaven. <laughs> seriously, seriously. I even though when I did not have uh, the when I didn't know how to access the power of God in my life, when I when I didn't know God fully, I used to hear those comments. But I know something in my spirit. Be like, oh my gosh, what, what a, what's the wrong perspective or the wrong mindset to view? Oh, Jesus is coming, Hallelujah! And and then most of those people that were literally saying saying those things, they were so, they were the people that would condemn and judge somebody that is preaching, even preachers, preachers. Sitting around gossiping about preachers, like like gossiping about um, pastors, uh, uh, condemning and judging other people that are not like them, that are literally on fire for Christ, that are literally been effective and and changing the world. They, that same type of people that were that were doing that to, to other people, and and you could see to by by the lights, by the fruits, by what they they understand, by how they act, by how they live. 
they are nothing like uh, uh, bringing changes into the world. It's all about them or the Lord family. And God did not say, hey, I'm going to let you get married and I'm going to uh, make you a mother and for you to just like sit and stay in your house and not fulfilling the purposes of God in your life. Or the purpose of is only um, um, for you to be a mother and that's it and your life is over. No, no. We are, we are a mother to our kids. We're a mother to the nation. We are like, like this is not how it's supposed to be. We're supposed to continually to spread the gospel and preach the gospel and change lives for God. Not for us to just like, oh, we're mother now. Okay, let's just like, let's just like stick, stick quiet in our, in our little land and mind in our business. That is why, can you please be careful? That is why many of the things are, are slightly out of pain. Many things are literally yeah, yeah, yeah. They're out of control because we, we, we thought we knew, we, we, we knew better. We thought we had knowledge. We thought we had wisdom, but it was our just our own knowledge, our own stupid knowledge under understanding. So that is why things, can you please go downstairs? That is why things just like slid out of our, of our hands when COVID came with all those other people and, and many people were asking questions. Oh, what happened? Like, I didn't see it because we were sleeping. We're sleeping and minding our own business. So even me doing this, like I have three kids. I have literally two kids. Like you can see back and forth. They need my attention. They know that I love them. They know that I spend time with them. They just miss me. They just with me. They just want to be by me, which is fine. And 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 that doesn't mean like, oh, this is my only responsibility. You know, I fed them. I take care of them. You know, when, when I'm done, I'm going to feed them again because kids literally eat 24-7. And I <laughs> Many they a lot. So um and uh so I have a purpose here to fulfill and I'm going to fulfill it. You know, even for you too, you shall live long to fulfill God's purpose in your life. You shall not die early, you shall live to fulfill God's purpose. We have purpose here in this earth. Our purpose is not like oh to be a mother of to of our on to our own children and that's it. Let's like, just like die and just stay quiet. Okay, Vincent, stop doing that. Stop doing that, please. Stop doing that. Can you please grab this? Grab that. The hand Yeah, he's touching that. He's not supposed to. Okay, so anyway. Matthew 18, 16, 15. Can you please bring Vincent downstairs for a bit? I'm like literally a few minutes. The more you guys hang on with me and... and Distracted me the longer I think, you know, mommy don't take long at all. So Matthew 18, 6. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. But you know what? Um, things doesn't have to be perfect all the time. And yes, like, like, perfect. No, things doesn't have to be perfect all the time. And yes, things have to be perfect. things have to be. Uh, well, it, it's, uh, if, if I didn't have you guys, things would be perfect. And who knows, maybe if I didn't have you guys, I probably wouldn't be on fire for Jesus. Or I would want to come here and do this. So you guys taught me a lot. My marriage taught me so much. And 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 God God literally has been uh really built, built me up, allow me to fall in love with them more and more because of all the amazing, crazy things that took place in my life, and I'm able to uh, doing this. So 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 you guys, you guys, please. This, this, is what, this is what I say sometimes. Sometimes I'm like, just ignore, ignore, and just keep doing this. Let me quickly do this for 18. Matthew 18. Especially for my older daughter. She understands, but she's just doing it on purpose. Like, I don't know how many times I told her, like, can you please be quiet and go down so that she knows? She knows. She knows. Oh, Gianna, are you the oldest? Oh, you know this. So why are you letting it change or be be a role model? Are you supposed to be the good role model? <laughs> so what do you guys you guys want to hurt yourself while you're going up high and just please just wait for mommy? Mommy has a nice playground downstairs for you guys and it's outside. Not enough I have cracked it.
Before I came alive, he was they were literally eating crackers, and now they were about crackers, which is fine. Okay, you guys go down to spray, but I'm almost done. You are distracting me here. Oh, Holy Spirit, help me. If anyone causes one, oh yeah, this is so important. It says, if anyone causes one of these little ones, those who believe in me, to stumble, it would be better for them to have a large milestone hung around their neck and to be drawn in the depths of the sea. Boom, yeah, hallelujah, hallelujah. So, so with everything that is going on around our world today, and it is definitely out there to destroy our children, to destroy uh, um, even even the godliness of things, the, 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 the righteousness of things, the things that are still like pure and holy um, that God originally created before the earth um, that many people got to experience before all the, you know, before divorce, before, you know, like family having crisis and like marriage got created marriage and then we, we bring beautiful children and then the healthiness of the marriage and healthy and healthiness of having a family um before toxic toxic things uh and people living in bondage and curses came all of those things god originally planned it, it was to restore to restore all of those things all the broken things and to make it good to make things good and pure, and then we we let all the uh, we let uh, you know we let um, can you please be careful? We let sin um, just come and corrupt things, right? Because we we love sins, we want to indulge in sin, we want to indulge in in in, in and and all and the media and. Uh, the Hollywood movies that's literally uh, been made years, years before I was even existed really help with all of that as well. Even in the Bible, too, there's a lot of things that um, we saw. Like, can you please stop? There's a lot of things that we literally saw, saw that, um, that already was happening in the Bible, and it looks like they are coming back to our nations, right? They're all coming back to our nations. So things like that have already existed. It's just like sometimes uh, our countries or the nations are not quite caught up to it yet. But it's like right now, it just looks like it, we are caught, caught in up to a lot of things that are ancient, aged stuff, like dead way back and all of that stuff. We are caught in up to all the crazy goddess, like weird uh, things that we are worshiping all of a sudden, they are coming, we are, we, we are um, caught in up to all of those things now. And then it makes, and it's just like always getting darker and weird and we're sacrificing children, even like, we're, we're, and so so much, so much. So what I'm trying to say, that the word like step in a train, taking us there slowly and slowly. And now we all finally see the solution, the result of indulging in those activity and those sins, right? So we all pay pain. And a lot of, a lot of us are literally living and seeing those things that perhaps we ourselves have not even created. And we are living in the consequences of our brothers and sisters in the world for making those decisions. That's what, that's what happened. It's like kind of, for example, when you are married, like when you are married, okay, and you make a bad decision, it will affect your all the other spouse. It will affect the other spouse. It will affect your kids too. So there is rules and boundaries that you shall have in your marriage and in your family and with your kids. Because, for example, like, if I'm so immature, I'm an adult, but I still act like two years old, I literally just, I'm just saying, if I'm fully toxic, then I'm putting toxic in, into, come here, come here, come here, for example, then I'm putting toxic in, into her life, for example, and that's not how it's supposed to be. As we get older, as we grow, we're all supposed to become a better vision of ourselves because it's not fair. It's not fair for the little one to stumble and fall because we choose we have the choice and the will to keep living in evil, to keep doing what is wrong. So therefore, our family, our marriage is being corrupted because we sometimes are so dumb and stupid that we refuse to change and be better. 
So they're all living in, in, in whatever going on in the marriage, they're all living in, 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 in whatever is going on in, in, in the family, in the environment. And especially if you have one spouse, one spouse or one person in your life that has so much wisdom and, and knowledge that is how they're giving it to you or sending you videos, resources, and resources out there and you still refuse to not to change. I, I, that is that is shame, shame on you, shame on you, and it's not fair for a two years old, one years old, or for example, or whatever kid to fall and stumble because you refuse to not change and stumble. Then they get to grow up, see all this, and become and become a toxic person, and wherever they call, they go, they be toxic, toxic, toxic. And then this generation, your generation, the next generation, generation just becomes so corrupted. It's because you yourself, as parent, as a adult person, you refuse to change. You refuse to stubbornly refuse to change. So now the kids get to live with this. Now, now it just keeps spreading, keeps spreading. So it starts in your heart, and it starts with you, and it starts within your home. So what you ever you allow in your home. Whatever you you don't care because oh as long as no people watch and we are out of there and people have no idea who we are. It's because because we it's it's okay at home to be this toxic, crazy, evil person at home. But then we, we when we out out there, we pretend, we pretend, we pretend to be this really cute, quiet, or exciting, hyper person to people. And and at home, your true person is literally so corrupted. And you bring corruption in the home, yeah. and you because of that, and, and that's bringing corruption in the school, in in the church, in the other people because you refuse to change. And this whole time, God is saying, "Come to me, I will give you rest. Come to me, I can change you. Come to me. You hear those things, you know those things. You, you refuse to act upon them. You refuse to to receive them. And people with you around you." Or living in the consequences of the choice you are making, and it's been hurt because of that. So I know that we all have a choice. We can get ourselves out of situation. I know we can get ourselves out of situation. Okay, I know that we can, but that's not always uh, the best way out either. Okay, uh, some people are brave. They have gone out of a lot of situation that that literally unhealthy for them. And and watch out, 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 watch out. And, and, there, and then and then and then there are consequences as well, right? So we are now seeing the consequences of the result of of humanity, of of just the sick, sinful person that we are. We are seeing uh, the result of of that happening in this earth. So we cause all of this. Either either we we were be careful. Can you please be careful? Either we are part of it, or we stay quiet, or we don't be connection. So correction in things we need to be correction, or we just refuse to change. Because sometimes we can be stubborn, rebellion. Rebellion is witchcraft. If you're a person who is so rebellion against things that are that are good and pure and holy and great and righteous, you are you are witchcraft. You've been in witchcraft in your family, you've been in witchcraft in your marriage, you've been in witchcraft in your church, you've been in witchcraft everywhere you go. That's what it is. And and witchcraft is not part of that. So for me as a person. I would love everybody to just accept changes, to accept changes and be a better person. Because when we are a better person, yeah, go ahead. Can you shut the fridge? Because when you are a better person, you're a better person for your spouse, you're a better person for your kids, you're a best, better person for your home, and you are a better person for, for, for the world, for your job. Uh, for the world, because if you don't choose to be a better person in your own, because your home is your heart, you need yourself. So that is why this whole corruption, yes, that is why this whole corruption, evil things are just happening around the world because it literally started with us. It starts with us. It starts with us. It even starts with us. So, um, okay, so occupy the law, the, the lane. Stand firm. Keep doing what is right. And stand up. Stand up even though you will lose people. Stand up for what is right even though people will walk away from you. 
it's better for them to walk away from you because they didn't like you anyways. Because they cannot get what they want. If they're trying to change you and you know and you know that there is nothing wrong with you, you have been a life that is using you to fulfill the purposes of God in your life. And they're coming against the things of God in your life, and they're all good, they're all righteous. It's better for you to lose those type of people because they will not help you to fulfill your destiny, to fulfill, to receive the, your destiny, to be in the purpose and the will of God. They will just there to take you away, to confuse you, to be destruction in your life. So it's better to say no to all of those things that do not push you towards God, that does not make you a better version of yourself, does not allow you to live in the freedom, in God's freedom to be who you are. It's better to lose those side of people. Trust me. Once they are gone, you will have the room, the space to be, to grow and be more like Jesus. I've made serious decisions in my life I've made serious decision. I've made serious decision in my life. I've made serious decision in my life where it's literally made sense. Okay, we don't come to people and stop attacking them and stop destroying them, and then we all use them like, oh, um, you know, if you're a Christian, you don't do this and this, and then we're like, you know, we're like looking at other people's eyes. Like, like look, looking at other people, what they are doing, and you yourself are the one that is the corrupt, that is bringing this division. If that person is minding her or his business and being the light and encouraging people to be independent in Christ, to live like Christ for them to live, they're not causing division, you're causing the division, you're attacking them, you are not treating them well. God says to love your neighbor and respect them and treat them well. So you yourself are not treating them well. It's you are the problem. You and you the problem. Is that person doing exactly what they're doing to you? No. You're doing the opposite of what the person is doing. It's because you are lack of knowledge. It's because you are allowing yourself to be puppet to the darkness and trying to make room in those people's life that are that have been affected, that are changing. The world instead of you, you can do that. You could, you could impact, you could grow the kingdom of God instead. You are growing the kingdom of the enemies. So, if those people are just minding their business or literally living, winning the light of God, and you out there condemning and bringing judgment, it is you, you are the problem. You're the problem. So, I so, like I said, take a step, take a step. So, I'm going to give you some. A um, few steps of how you can take take a stand in this dark and evil days we are living in right now. So the steps are: repent to God, commit yourself to Jesus, turn away from that sin, turn away from sinful sin. Repent when you repent and, and, and you forgive yourself. God, you can, you repent, God will forgive you. He promised. Oh, can you please plug this for me? He promised you that He will forgive you. You have, can you plug this right there? In the thing? Yeah. So he, okay, then, yeah. He promises us that he will, he will forgive us. We pay. Turn away from yourself. Commit yourself to him. And, 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 and the second point is don't stay silent. Silence. Do not stay silent in the days of evil. You know it's wrong. You know it's bad. You know what is going on. You stay in, don't stay silent. Don't stay quiet. Use your platform. Use whatever you have to breathe the light and the hope and encouragement to people. Don't stay quiet when something is wrong. Speak up now. You can help the situation by you not. You can help the situation by you speaking up. You can help the situation by you speaking up. When you don't speak up and you call yourself a Christian, a follower of Jesus, or or you or you're a good person, doesn't matter. 
you call yourself a good person and uh, you're all good or whatever, and you're not speaking up, that, that is does not showing that you're a good person. That does not show that you have a heart. You're not speaking up shows you exactly who you are. It shows you exactly that, that you're not a good person. If kids, what is going on in the in our school, kids' school, what is going on uh, uh, around all those like jockness and you don't speak up is because you like you like it. You are a part of the problem because you are a part of the problem. If you're not using your platform, you're not using anything, you're just like minding your business. It just shows like how selfish you are. It just shows like how selfish you are. So it shows that you're not speaking up, you don't speak up, you call yourself a good person, a Christian, you are not a follower of Jesus, and you are not a good person. You yourself are allowing all the wickedness to get worse in this world. You're not speaking up, you are allowing the wickedness, the, 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 the you know, them um, making children stumbling. It's all your fault because you're make, like, allowing those children to be stumbling. You're allowing... To, to even 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 like now with women of being made, made fun of, we have to share bathroom with opposite sex. Uh, people, other opposite sex can can literally look like us uh, because we're just so pretty. Because God God made us the most beautiful uh, sex on, on the on the planet. You know, female we are beautiful. We, you know, so now men wants us. Men wants to be like us, and and then, and then shame. And it's like the, we didn't shame on women. And then now we get to share bathroom with them all of a sudden. And then you don't speak up and you think that's okay. And and your kids can literally, you know, and so all of those things is is there is there is an agenda and uh and uh and a reason for that to take to corrupt your children at young age because the, the most uh naive uh tender at this stage. And when they grow, grow up, they see all of those things, they are done. So I'm calling every parent. Every parent that have kids, I call you parents just to stand out. So be careful, be careful. To educate yourself. And so to educate your kids to the right way. Don't let the world, don't let the government, don't let this darkness, this corruption in this world to, to educate your kids. You go and educate your kids in what is right. Because they're, they're they're coming after your kids, they're coming after your marriage, they're coming after you. If if you are broken, your whole system is broken, your home is broken, your kids are, home, are broken. You surrender. It's it, it's it's like it's like they can just come and take everything away from you. Because you don't know how to stand. Because you know it, it's a way for them to just come and grab everything that belongs to you. If they have your kids, if they have you, if they have your marriage, like you have nothing left in you to even to stand. So stand now. COVID. COVID was the exact, uh, COVID was such a great example to, to, to stand out. Some of us, we felt that. Some of, us, some, of us, some of us, we felt that. We're just like, okay, let's just do this. Let's just go this, go with the flow. Let's grab this, this. So now look at what happened. It's happening more. It's not COVID anymore. What is it? What is happening now? It's not COVID anymore. What is it? Of course. Of course that it was, it was going to go to the next and 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 the next. Until they, they, they take everything away from you. So. You, we were supposed to stand when it was COVID. Some of us passed. To those people that passed, congratulations. And some of us did not pass. It's it's okay. It's not too late. You can pass on, on the next on the next agenda. You can pass on the next. So save your home. Save yourself. Save your kids. Save your school. Save your community. Save. Save them. And you can do that. You have the power and the authority to do that. God brought us to, 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 to dominate, to occupy the land, to, to dominate. Not for all those crazy wickedness to come and dominate. No, you have a will. You have a choice. You have the power. You have authority questions to say no. Where no belongs, it's okay to say no. You saying no does not mean, oh, I hate this person. You saying no does not mean, like, oh, I don't like this person. You saying no is, is saying no. You have a voice. God gives you a voice. You see? You see, you see this voice in my mouth? Does do, do you see many names in there? Do, do you see many names? How many names do you see in that voice? Or how many body, how many voices do you see in my voices? No, it's my voice. I got a voice, I will speak up. 
So that's what God wants to do. Use your voice. It's your voice. He gave you this voice. He gives you a voice that is in your own face for you to use it and speak up. Okay? Doesn't matter if you get persecuted. Persecuted. Doesn't matter if you get attacked. Use your voice and stand. If you do not, if you are weak, you don't have the power to do this, ask God, come to him. Ask him. He said, ask and it shall be given to you. Ask, it shall be given to you. Plain and simple. Okay, so let your voice be heard loud and clear. So let your voice be heard loud and clear. It, 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 it doesn't say, let the government voice be heard loud and clear. It, it, it doesn't say, let people's voice let loud, loud and clear. It says, let your voice. You only have, how many voices do you have? You only have one voice. One voice. Learn how to use that voice. So learn, um, let your voice be heard loud and clear. So I hope this really bless you. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray. I'm going to pray for you guys. So I release God's power, God's presence, God's anointing to touch you guys right now. May God give you power. May God give you your, your, uh, his identity in you for you to be able to stand to know when to speak. Uh, for, you, for, for God, to think, I pray that God will give you the, the, the boldness to speak out the boldness to be who, who, who he called you to be, not who the government calls you to be, not the, what the media wants you to be, trying to change you to be, to be or to be not. I will say, like God, that, that you will know who you are, that you will know who you are, that you are fearfully, wonderfully made, that you have a voice to speak and stand, to say no, to say yes, when you want it. And... And I will list God's freedom, Mommy, God's restoration, uh, God's power. Yes, it's just, I know, I see it. It's just a little, just little spider. It's okay, it's okay. It's a little spider. It's a little spider. So I, I will list God's power, God's freedom, God's anointing, God's presence, God's favor to go with you, to help you to know how to stand up, to, to help you to have this confidence and, the, and that strength. In, I really got strength, got joy in your life to be able to help you in any, any situation that you are you are on and that he will be able to help you in any situation you are on, um, that you do have power, you do have authority, that you do have a voice. And may you be blessed. I will God's freedom here in your nation, God's freedom in your God's freedom in your city, God's freedom in your country, God's freedom in your home. And 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 I bind every spiritual forces, every uh, demonic forces that are literally going on around the world. And I bind um, pride, pride month. And I and I release God's it's God's month and God's and Jesus purpose month, Jesus will month, and that that we are proud in Jesus. We're not pride in sin. We are not known our pride in darkness, that we are proud to, to for, for, for the goodness of God in the earth. And we are proud for those things. And 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 and, and I've been heaven on earth, heaven, heaven in your in your relationship, heaven on earth, heaven, heaven in your home. I release heaven in in, in your life. In God's freedom, in Jesus and in the God's Okay, so I just launched a new affirmation um, shirt. That is that your voice be heard loud and clear. So check it out. If you can check, uh, sent, uh, sorry, bonfire.com, Cynthia Boutico. So you could check my website. I have amazing clothing line with powerful uh, affirmation words that are going to really help you uh, to stand, really help you to know who you are. It's really going to really encourage you and help you. So check my clothing line. Bonfire.com, Cynthia Boutique, C-O. And you can check my Instagram, uh, Cynthia, S-A-N-T-H-I-A, underscore L-O-C-K-E. Uh, check my Instagram. I have my website there. But it has everything that I do. And also, I am an independent consultant um, for Auburn. So I do help teach others how to live a healthy living lifestyle. As long as I have uh, some really great, amazing products, clean products um, that we literally banned around 2,000 chemicals out of a product that are going to help you. I have beautiful skincare, healthy skincare, and uh, beautiful 
uh, kids kids products as well. And so, if you want to rewatch, please rewatch this message. Rewatch this message. It is. It was powerful. This message was powerful, you guys. We need this more than ever grateful for, for such a time as this. The message was powerful. Just make sure you watch it. You watch it at, 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 on my private Facebook group called Tell the Story of Freedom on Instagram. It will be posted there on my Instagram and also on my YouTube channel. Um, subscribe me, follow me, and watch on my YouTube channel. Um, Cynthia Locke as well. And uh, so, if you do want, if you do want one one on one coaching, I do I do one on one coaching as well. Um, I do that as well. And so, check my clothing line, check my uh, independent consultant album website if you want to learn more about uh, uh, my business and you wanna you wanna do the business. I do um, um, do one on one with you on the phone as well. And if you want to help with any life uh, situation, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching, counseling um, call as well to help you. And what else? And also my book, you guys. I have a book out. I'm a co-author, co-author with amazing other beautiful, powerful, impactful ladies. Um, it's called Let the Woman Speak, Volume 2. So you could order your book right now. It is literally, the books is so powerful. There are so many great tools, tips, uh, uh, some really great wisdom, knowledge, uh, examples, lessons that are going to really help you to be an overcomer, to be an overcomer in your life, to be an overcomer in your business. Mm -hmm. That, that you are lacking nothing. The Lord is your shepherd. So it's literally, it is so yummy. Like it is so good. So get my book. If you want to get my book, reach out to me. And I'm part of the book. I have my stories in there on page 151. I'm so proud of myself. It is out there. So help me out and be blessed. So be blessed and live your life a purpose life. Just know that you cannot do things alone. You cannot do when you are stuck, when you need help, you don't know which way to go. Just call on Jesus and say, Jesus, help you. Okay. So today we will be at the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. I will use divine favor. Oh, God is about to change rules, regulation, policies, and procedures for me and you in Jesus' name. No weapons out of form against you shall pass for. I draw a line and I plead the blood of Jesus between the kingdom of darkness and my family, my kids, my husband. And your family and the purposes of God in our lives and, and you too in the name of Jesus. So have a fantastic day and enjoy yourself. Bye -bye. And yeah, bye-bye. You can say bye. Bye-bye.